temperature is great. It's late winter, just about into spring, and I'm in the desert. Ah, Joshua Tree, Joshua Tree National Park, and doing a little bit of wild camping. My favorite thing to do, of course, hiking and wild camping. And what I'm ideally looking for is something top of one of these peaks, maybe even that one over there. Those look pretty good off in the distance. So excited about this. I've got a gallon of water in my backpack. Surprisingly, it doesn't feel very heavy. So I don't know if it's because the weight's resting on my hips or, or what, but it's not bad. beautiful out here, that's for sure. I love this. It's starting to get a little more rocky, a little more mountainous as I head out this way, and I think the loop goes over that ridge and kind of swings around. It is beautiful. So quiet. knew there were pine trees in Joshua Tree National Park. I guess I am entering the, the mountainous zone. So nice. I can't believe this is the desert. Look at how forested this is. Wow. Pine trees, juniper trees. Of course you got the Chola cactus, all the various cactus varieties. Oh, look at all these trees. Wow. Look at these trees. I cannot believe this. It's like a desert alpine forest. This is incredible. I was not expecting any trees whatsoever. Just desert, really. There's full on pine trees out here. Wow. This gets better and better the deeper I go. Gotta watch out for this stuff as well. Prickly cactus. Look at these rocks as well. It's like it's gone through some extreme formation and conditions. It's incredible. Made it to the loop and I think I'm gonna go clockwise. I am blown away by this trail. It's like I'm hiking in a little canyon with pine trees in the middle of the desert. This is so awesome. I can't believe this. How did I not know about this? Wow. It's kind of right in my own backyard too. My main objective is to get a really good camp spot. I want to get one like up on top of one of these mountains or something. So see what I can find. That's what I'm going to try to do right now. If I can somehow get on top of that peak, I think that would be just an epic spot. I gotta see if there's like a little trail or any clear path. Try to get up there. Here's the trail. 
and I'm gonna try to get on the top of that and hopefully there's a flat spot. This trail is so beautiful. So I think it kind of swings around actually. It might take me up to the tops of those or somewhere over here. So I think I'll be able to find a spot up there. Just gotta find a flat spot. That's the only challenge really. Wow, it's amazing. I'm so glad I stayed on the trail. I started way, way off in the canyon, way over there. And I followed this canyon and I didn't think it would come out, but it's coming up. Look at all these beautiful Joshua trees. And I think that might be San Gregorio, way off in the distance. But I'm thinking this is gonna wrap around up here. And if I can get a spot on top, oh, I'll be so happy. This is the best. Oh, I can't believe my luck. The weather, really low wind. Normally Joshua Tree's pretty windy. This is nothing. And oh my gosh, views. Who knew I'd have views? This is incredible. Look at that. Ah, loving this. Just came over the ridge. Beautiful. Not a soul. insane views at the top. Wow. So I think that's San Gregorio. And I think, I'm pretty sure that is Mount San Jacinto. The PCT goes up to it and go, continues along. Wow. Incredible. Nice and flat up here too, but it's right along the trail. So I'm gonna see if I can go to that peak or that one over there, see what that looks like. Let's go scope it out. Top of whatever peak this is. A little can. Let's see what's inside. Oh, some snacks and an entry. Oh, gotta put my name in there. Winding down another fun adventure with great friends, Joshua Tree. You did not disappoint the Pollux and the haunts, Sussex County, New Jersey. This is the top, not quite <laughs> clear or flat, <laughs> very rocky. But I think that's the direction I wanna be looking at. And I could go down there, probably out of the wind too. Uh, I think I'll go a little bit further. Let's see what's over there. I think I may have found my spot. As I was going down, I kept going. And look at this flat spot. With pretty much 360 degree views. Wow. Oh, 
that's good ground. I'm so glad this ground is dirt and not just solid rock, like granite. It's like I can at least get my stakes in. That way my tent's not flapping like crazy at night. But we'll see. I say that now, but it's probably gonna be really windy. Oh my gosh, I lucked out on this spot. Shouldn't be too bad. Maybe I'll just reposition this one. Let's see. Just so it's nice and nice and taut. I still can't believe the spot I got on top of the mountain all set up. I'll show you what I'm working with. I got my sleeping bag, of course, pillow. Got a mattress. It's really warm in there. Hopefully it stays that way. Uh, some jackets. Got a light up top. And I actually brought my bear canister uh, just to keep the little varmints um, out of my food. Like mice if there's any. Uh, so I'm gonna have chicken and dumplings and I'm actually gonna fry up some pepper, a little bit of onion, brought some broccoli with me. Also a whole avocado. I can't wait to dive into that. And to top it off, a milk chocolate bar, of course. And seeing as I'm in the Joshua Tree Wilderness, I thought, try a brew, try a local brew. This is from Coachella. And it looks like it's from actually Thousand Palms. Is that a city? Thousand Palms? So I guess it's in the neighborhood, but it looked good. I like IPA. What better spot to drink it as well? I mean, <laughs> this is insane. Got a great, <laughs> great view. This is probably the best view I've ever had of any campsite, and I'm gonna get a killer sunset down there. Let's give this a try. Hiked with it all the way up. Oh no. Give it a little sip. All right, so this is the Coachella Valley Brewing Company, JT, Joshua Tree, IPA. Joshua Tree Rye IPA, one pint. There we go. It's all right. It's interesting. It's very interesting. Rye. Maybe that's what gives it that kind of funny taste. It's not too bad, actually. It actually hits the spot. Look at this view. Are you kidding me? Mount San Jacinto. Oh, the mountain range is behind me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Nobody out here. I'm in the middle of civilization, I feel like. I can see, I guess that's Palm Desert, Palm Springs down there. Behind me, I've got, uh, I guess, 29 Palms, the Yucca Valley area. Then, of course, up north, you have the Sierra. And I'm the only one out here. I've got my tent. I've got some amazing, delicious food. I hiked up here with <laughs> a little over three and a half liters of water. So I've got plenty of water. Got a good local brew. Doesn't get much better than this. Thank you. 
I'm gonna saute the vegetables now, and then I'll boil the water, and I'll get uh, those chicken and dumplings going. Look at this, this view is just incredible. This is the best view in Joshua Tree National Park. <laughs> along pretty good. Just been enjoying the sunset the past several minutes. Just an incredible evening. Haven't had a sunset like this in a long time. Just so gorgeous. Feel so lucky to be up here. Nobody else out here. Just enjoying Beautiful landscape on top of the mountain. God, that is just stunning. Amazing. All right, this is pretty much done. Got some nice sauteed veg. I'm gonna do some hot water and get these chicken and dumplings going. Have a nice meal. Ah, I just can't believe my luck. Literally, I started way down there, 29 Palms, hiked up the canyon, and I thought, ah, I don't know if I can get to that peak, because Joshua Tree's really rugged, you know? Oh my gosh, look at that. Tap the screen, look at that. That's just insane. Boiling my water right here the veg all done everything sauteed <laughs> as good as it's gonna be <sighs> and then once the water is ready I'll pour it in get that going and then I'll have some chicken and dumplings and some sauteed vegetables to go with it sounds pretty good I'm pretty hungry I can actually see the uh... wow it's kind of a trip you can't see them on this camera probably, but down in here, I can see the windmills along the 10 freeway. That's amazing. Wow, just views for days. I think I even see uh, the cell phone tower <laughs> way out over here. If you see something flashing, there it is, right there. That's why I have 5G up here. <laughs> Which doesn't seem fair as well. <sighs> Gosh. It is getting a little cold. That's for sure. But I've got a lot of good gear with me. My sleeping bag is a down sleeping bag. I also have uh, uh, extreme liner. So just in case it gets really, really cold, um, I've got that and actually it's very cold. It feels like it might actually, um, get below freezing tonight, which I wouldn't be surprised if it does. Uh, but yeah, beautiful spot. I feel like a lucky man being up here. Just me amongst the mountains.
chicken and dumplings in here. Let's see how the water's doing. Taking a little bit of time, probably because of the elevation and the wind. A little bit of a breeze. Almost ready. Chicken and dumplings don't look too bad. Took a while to actually cook because it's so cold up here. So I think that's gonna do it. Had a good, good meal, I'm wiped out. It's cold, but I'm in my sleeping bag now, so should be good. Ah, ready for a nice long sleep and see you in the morning. Good morning. I was a night last night. I heard wild animals, lots of Owls, coyotes, who knows what else, lots of wind, and this morning woke up, it's completely silent, except for that owl. Do you hear that owl? Ah. So I'm going to go outside, see what it looks like, see what the sunrise looks like. Wow, what a night. It's the first look outside. Not too bad. Put some clothes on and go check it out. I know I've said it before, but this thing's a real lifesaver. Got down pretty cold. I don't think it was quite freezing, but it was cold. Use this liner, and that's a game changer. And it's so lightweight. I think I'll keep bringing that with me. It's a good piece of kit. Not quite frozen. Get some coffee going. Pack up my gear. Just enjoy the morning. Just incredible. It's always hard to 
choose which is better. Is sunrise better than sunset? They're just both very pretty. God, these mountains. Unbelievable. Quite a bit of snow as well. Let's go over to San Jacinto. Yeah. Not too bad up there. a more enjoyable morning having a cup of coffee. This is just incredible. Oh, I've really enjoyed my time out here. I don't think I was going to enjoy it as much as I did. I've thoroughly enjoyed this. I have to come back. Now that I know Joshua Tree is so mountainous, or semi-mountainous at least, so many opportunities. Look at all these peaks. All these hills over here. I mean, I'm at 5,000 feet. It's not really a hill, I guess. If we were comparing to the UK, this would be uh, this would be Everest. <laughs> and to many countries, for that matter. Gosh, just stunning. Just can't get over how clear it is. Pasito, Gregorio. The best. Cheers. Here is the campsite leaving no trace and start hiking back down. That's the way I came up yesterday along this ridge and hiked up this 
So I think today I'm gonna hike down along there and kind of loop it back around and then head back down over to there. That's where my car's at, way down there. So yeah, start heading out. Just getting another look before I drop down at these beautiful pine trees. San Gorgonio in the background, off in the distance, but beautiful pine trees out here. I can smell the most amazing desert sage right now. Look at these little guys, these little red plants, red leaved sage almost. It's like the sage's flower, beautiful. It smells just earthy. That's the best way I can put it. Very earthy. <sighs> ah, I'm so lucky to be out here. Can't believe this. It's just too, Perfect. It really is too perfect. Got about a eh, three mile walk back, according to the map. Never been this way, but makes it fun. So should be back probably within the hour, if that. I think it's all downhill as well. Get back, get another coffee, of course. Get some breakfast. Drive back home, see my family. Enjoy the day. That sounds like a good day. Back down in the canyon. I think I'm gonna be connecting with the original canyon I came in on. So connecting the loop, it's kind of like a lollipop trail where you hike out and then it loops and connects back to the way you came in. So. In a little canyon, joining the trees, of course. I just had to stop and admire this one, this chola. It's so yellow compared to all the others I've seen. Overall, Joshua Tree's been great. I'll for sure be coming back, maybe late fall or even during the winter later this year. It's been fantastic. Just what I needed, a nice desert, wild camping adventure. Yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it, I did.